Hey everybody, some gadget guy, some gadget guy.com with a cool little tip and or trick for those of you using Windows gear but wanting to participate with some of our new fun wireless storage gadgets. This is the Kingston Mobile Light Wireless, one of my absolute favorite Swiss Army knife gadgets of this year in that it allows you to share a USB flash drive and or a uh, an SD card. Uh, the storage on both of those flash uh, flash memory uh, devices with up to three other gadgets over Wi-Fi. Now, if you're rocking some kind of Android phone or Android tablet, then you're doing just fine. Kingston has an app. Uh, unfortunately for us, Windows phone, Windows tablet, and Windows computer users, there is no such app in the Microsoft ecosystem. But thankfully, Kingston still has us covered with a web interface, allowing us to continue to participate with storage shenanigans on the Kingston Mobileite Wireless and this is how you're going to do it. Okay, so for Windows RT and regular Windows 8, this is really easy. Once you are connected to the mobile light, here we're gonna scroll in. So here's mobile light wireless, and I'm gonna connect to this, and this is the Wi-Fi signal that's being broadcast over here. You don't need any app for the bridge feature. So when the, wire, uh, when the mobile light is connected to my home network, and you connect to the mobile light, it automatically will share your wireless uh, data access. So that's very helpful. And we're gonna let that go. It does take a small chunk as I have a 30 megabit download and anytime you use a bridge or a wireless extender, you can count on a good, you know, at least 30% of your bandwidth gone right off the top. But this is pretty good considering that this is uh, streaming off of a portable mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, so the cool thing about Windows 8 and Windows RT, wireless sharing is very easy. You're just gonna go into your networking settings. So if we go into any kind of file browser, file window on the traditional desktop and we go to network, uh, you're going to see all of the d different devices that you can connect to over your various networking solutions. I'm connected to the mobile light, so I'm gonna tap on mobile light. There's an option for the USB. The USB stick is connected here. You'd see a separate folder for the SD card if there was an SD card installed in the mobile light. I'm gonna double tap on that. All of the files are ready to go right there. So you don't need any special app to get in and interact with uh, files here. And so if we wanna play a video, I'm gonna play uh, one in the public domain. And here's Night of the Living Dead. So that way Google won't freak out about copyright violations. And performance is super smooth. So if I wanna to skip to later in the film, I just drag that along. And there we are, I'm uh, probably spoiling something for you people if you've never seen Night of the Living Dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. This is all very easy to do on a proper Windows computer or a Windows RT tablet. Uh, you don't need any special additional software to connect to a mobile light and share files back and forth. You can copy, you can cut, you can paste, everything's completely available to you just using the stock software built into a Windows uh, computer or tablet. Okay, so the situation is a little trickier on a Windows phone. A Windows phone will not have the same sort of shared network storage settings that a proper computer will have. So we want to make sure that we connect to the mobile light wireless. And I am connected to it. I'm just showing you where these settings are. So when we connect to the mobile light wireless, the same thing happens, thankfully, where we get to share all of the, uh, the internet with uh, the data connection that's connected to the mobile light. So if I come into my speed test app, uh, no, I don't want you to access my location right now and I can go ahead and run a speed test, you'll see that it automatically connects to whatever shared networking or data connection the mobile light has access to. Same thing, we're, we're losing, uh, it's doing a little better than the, uh, the RT, oh, no, it just dropped. Anyway, uh, you're still gonna lose about 30% of your data connection going over some shared uh, bridge device like this. And so to get to the mobile light on, on a Windows phone, because we don't have the app, we're gonna have to go in through the web browser. So you fire up Internet Explorer, and we're gonna go to, and it should pop up automatically because I've done this a couple times now, one, nine, ah, here we go. Okay, so you're gonna punch in an IP address, 192.168.200.254. And so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this, 192.168.200.254. And et voila, 
there's a Kingston web interface built into the Mobileite. So any device which doesn't have an app, you can connect through a web browser. And so uh, so say you're you're on a Mac and you want to be able to connect to storage on the Mobileite while someone else is using the Mobileite on an app on an iPhone, for example, you punch in 192.168.200.254 and you should be able to see all of the files on there too, so long as you're connected over Wi-Fi. And so now if I come into the USB... It's going to take just a little bit longer than it did on the Windows RT tablet, but I can come into the video files. And here's Night of the Living Dead, so let's go ahead and play that. It's firing it up. Bam! And we're streaming... We're streaming video directly off the mobile light. It's uh, it's not having to save or store locally onto the phone. It's a uh, it's a it's a real time data connection that's capable of streaming high quality video, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. So, folks, if you were shopping some kind of mobile shared storage solution like the Kingston Mobileite, uh, don't let it scare you off if you're using, say, a Windows phone. If you if you want to switch over to a Windows phone and you were using the Mobileite on an iOS or an Android device, you don't have to throw this puppy out just because there's no app for Windows phone right now. Hopefully, we will see an app because I think the app would clean up some of the speed of the interface. But even without the app, it's still a perfectly reasonable way to share files, to store files, and to uh, connect several several devices to the same amount of storage over Wi-Fi. I think it's a great solution. Definitely one of my favorite gadgets of the year. And thankfully, we don't have to give up that functionality on Windows Phone. So folks, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all on the next video.